Hi, this is Blair Sinta, and this is Sinta Sounds. Today I'm going to talk about rim shots versus no rim shots. Um, this is a question I get quite often. Um, I would say 90% of the time I do not hit rim shots, um, especially in recording, probably 99% of the time when recording I don't hit rim shots. S once in a while live for certain songs uh, in a set, I will. Um, the microphone here is a very different thing than you do sitting above a snare. Oftentimes I think snares sound pretty cool. Hitting a rim shot, it gets you a certain volume, it, it, the drum reacts a different way, but often the microphone here is a very different thing. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate three snares, a low snare, a medium snare, and a high snare, uh, no rim shots, and then rim shots. Okay, so here is the high snare. This is the one exception I might make when recording um, to use to uh, use rim shots. Um, it's all wide open. There's no dampening. This can make the the drum spank a bit more, which often when you have this tuning is something that you're going for. Okay, so as you can hear, the differences can be subtle, but I, I definitely feel in any, whatever the tuning is on the drum, when you hit it in the center, it brings out more body and it's a fatter sound. And when you hit the rim shot, it thins it out, gives a little more attack, um, which sometimes you may want, but I definitely feel that when recording, the fatter the sound, it's, it's better for an engineer and they can, they can um, mix it the way they want. Um, they can usually add compression and things like that to get the attack that sometimes a rim shot um, brings out. Mess around, check it out, explore, and uh, I'll see you next time on Synthesis Sounds. Thanks.